Hi, I'm Todd Talbot, host of Love It or List in Vancouver, and this is Neighborhood Eats. We're in trendy Yale Town, which is one of the hottest spots in Vancouver with great restaurants and bars and plenty of international flavor. Let's go check it out. You know ice cream, but have you heard of nice Vice cream. This stuff is amazing and it's made without refined sugar or dairy and the flavors are off the charts. Matcha avocado, blueberry sage, and my personal favorite, Earl Grey bergamot. Come on, let's go inside and check it out. Seriously, inside, let's go. Chris. How are you? I'm good, how are you doing? Good to see you. How many times do people actually ask for ice cream? Every day. Every day? Just Every single annoyed. day. Legally, I am not ice cream or gelato. We're completely 100% plant-based and we're Canada's first 100% dairy-free establishment. Okay, let's talk about one of my favorites, which is Earl Grey Bergamot. Yeah, let's go Talking take it. about well, it you're is here making me hungry. You are here to work. So we're gonna, yeah, we're gonna put an apron on you. Oh, uh, we're gonna go in the back, we're gonna meet my sister. This is my sister, Siobhan, and Hi, she is nice the Siobhan. genius and brains behind the flavors at Nice Spice Cream. Our trusty tool. Oh, man. I was actually mixing some mortar for some tiling at my house, and it looks <laughs> eerily similar. What do we got here? This is our base, okay. and it's made with coconut milk and sweet potato milk. Okay, are we good? Yep, that's perfect. From here, we take it over to the batching machine and make ice cream. What is this thing doing? It just cools the mixture as it rotates um, with a dasher. Oh, look at that! Look at that! I'll get you to keep turning this. All right, look at that. That's perfect. Yeah. We are completed, so a lid would go on this, but we already have some prepared in the front, so we can go and scoop it and try your beautiful flavor. Cheers. Cheers. Every time I have this, I taste something different. I mean, you got the Earl Grey, for sure. That's the first thing that hits you, is like, bam, Earl Grey. It's like, dare I say creamy, mm -hmm. without having any cream in it. Mm -hmm. And then, you can check your tonsils afterwards. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Just one block outside of Yale Town is one of my favorite places for brunch in the entire city. This Mediterranean style cafe blends European and Middle Eastern flavors, and it is the spot in the city for Belgian waffles. Let's go inside. Robbie. Todd. How you doing? Nice to see you. Nice to see you. How you been? It smells so good. Ah, uh, the first bake's always good. You're like mixing Mediterranean and European and kind of throwing it all in a pot and stirring you it up. You know what? We wanted to do something that was different. My favorite are the waffles. Waffles. If I don't eat one now, I'm going to eat my hand. Let, let's do it. You can eat five. So I make waffles at home, but yeah. they don't taste like yours. What's the difference? You likely use a batter. Liege waffles are dough-based. They're yeast leavened. They're actually made like bread. They actually have to proof every morning, and that's why it smells so good in here. And, and there you go. Although people do eat them without sauce, you're famous for all these. Toppings. White chocolate pistachio rose water, salted caramel, raspberry caramel, dark chocolate, fig orange marmalade, a little passion fruit. So that's the milk chocolate lavender. That's one of my favorites. Mm. There's something Sweet about the savory. flavor of the dough, though. I'm going straight for the caramel. Okay. What, what bit, makes that so bit good? Of savory with the sweet. I love how we're doing a little custom situation here. Chocolate, orange, yeah, this is gonna blow my mind. Yeah, that's like Christmas all year round. That is insane. These things are spectacular. Dude, no wonder people will line up. Vancouver is famous for its sushi, but let me be the first to tell you that there's sushi and then there's aburi sushi, where they flame sear it right in front of you. The experience at the restaurant here at Minami is absolutely fantastic. Let's go inside and check it out. Ben. How you doing, man? Oh, I'm fantastic. Good to I'm see you. so excited to be back. I'm glad to have you back. You guys do something very unique. It's a burry style sushi. What does a burry actually mean? A burry translates to flame seared. We're trying to change the way that people like to eat sushi. This reminds me of my first time <laughs> eating here. <laughs> eating here. He's uh, about to do up the Oshi Bites. I order this every single time that I come here. Uh, so he's putting in a layer of salmon, some rice, putting our miso sauce on. And now this is the act of aburi, which is what you're seeing right now. And so this is charcoal? That is charcoal. We actually use a Japanese hardwood. Everything is zeke, or uh, beautiful, as we like to say here. Zeke. Zeke. Yeah, zeke means beautiful. This is the best place to sit, I think. 
because you're watching everything be built. It almost makes you not want to take it apart. Doesn't it? But <laughs> I hey, know, you're like, this looks fantastic. <laughs> Does it come in a frame? Ah, wow, so that cool. is amazing. Yeah, beautiful. I gotta start with the scallop because oh, yeah. it is my absolute favorite. So that scallop was perfectly cooked, but then you've got your traditional raw salmon in there with that smoky taste on top. Mm -hmm. And the sauce is, it's crazy. So this is the prawn. This is the prawn, little boton ebby. Yeah. So watch the tail. Can I stop watching it now? <laughs> now the prawn is gonna add a little bit of different texture because it is, it has been lightly flame seared, but it is still mostly raw. And the wild boar is unique. Yeah. You don't see wild boar on a traditional no. Japanese menu. It's fresh, it's tasty, and it's different. Mm -hmm. Albacore tuna. It's a sophisticated dish. How do you say goodbye to your guests when they leave? Arigato gozaimashita. Arigato gozaimashita. Well, that's it for me and Yale Town, a fantastic neighborhood with wonderful cuisine and culture. Thanks for watching Neighborhood Eats. Check out more Neighborhood Eats on foodnetwork.ca.